Alrighty, it's the boss lady here coming to you from my vehicle. I'm in the process of getting ready to roll into work. Uh, actually, go into the office in the first for the first time since jury duty. I mean, I've been working, just working from home. But I decided to let them see boss lady's face today. Get some in office time in. Whew kind of nice this morning even though we got word we're supposed to get eight to ten inches of snow like this weekend i'm like are you serious matter of fact i got my heat off i'm gonna turn it on for a minute um this is not gonna chill out the car but i got my little fake leather on <laughs> from jc penny y'all i got this what a couple years ago for 6.99 and uh love my little jacket I always forget about it, you know. I'm so used to, um, I'm so used to, you know, either putting on like a sweater or a sweatshirt, you know, a hoodie or whatever. And I've been forgetting I have all these like jackets and stuff and don't even be wearing them. So I need to, that's another thing I need to do. I know I did it once before, but I need to go through my jackets and, uh, literally see, okay, which ones you know, do I need or do I wear and someone is blocking the road. Mm -mm -mm. But anyway, I need to see, um, definitely, you know, check to see which uh, jackets I can get rid of. I have some that, you know, kind of special to me, like boss may have bought them and, uh, or my mom or I got them for a deal. There used to be a store, speaking of deals, there used to be a store called, was it called Stephen Berry's? I think it was called Stephen Berry's or something like that. But um, I remember that store was a like a discounted store, but you could get some cute stuff. So we had got all these like baseball type jackets and stuff from there. And I know we paid less than $10. I mean, it was like, I think some were like seven, eight dollars, and so I'll never forget when that store came around. Everybody shopped in that store. It seemed like our whole entire city looked like that store. Um, but it was just so nice, and you could get all these different type of coats and you know jackets and stuff for a real discounted. Lord have mercy. <laughs> discounted price. That lady almost caused an accident, y'all. I'm serious. I'm like the lights turning. Uh, turning red it was turning yellow and she just stopped and there was two cars behind her me and another car and we had to swerve into the opposite lane but anyway so um so i have some of those jackets i know i have like a minnesota jacket i got a north carolina jacket um I'm trying to think are those the only two i have i don't remember but anyways um and they weren't they weren't real leather but they look like leather you know you know plastic whatever type of jackets and I, I think they sold clothes, too, because we were able to get, like, T-shirts from there and stuff like that. Um, so, I know, I think my North Carolina jacket, I might do a, a video on that. Just, you know, boss lady going through her jackets and getting rid of them because a lot of them I don't wear. And, you know, I've been buying so many, you know, newer coats, or not newer, but I've been buying coats the last few years or jackets that the ones that I have from years ago... I don't have them anymore. So, that's the idea. I think I might do that. Um, you know, because I'm trying to get rid of things and get my donations up to the thrift store. So, but I'm just out and about on my way to the office. I'm planning, see, today is Thursday. Hmm. I might go to the thrift store today. I'm not sure. I have to see uh, what's planned, what our plans are for the evening. Because um, I'm not sure if we're going to have a date night or what. So, since we technically didn't get date night yesterday, but um, which was fine. I was tired anyway. Rolled right over and went to sleep. <laughs> But, um, so yes, I want to uh, definitely look into going to the thrift store, and I need to go through those jackets, because I have some jackets, and I might do a, hmm, try and think, I might do a, like a try, try on video, like, you know, show you the jackets that I'm looking at, and then 
you know, that I'm looking to get rid of, basically. So, for those who don't live in cold states, you don't know about this, but I will tell you, I will be so happy when the winter is over and they can get out here and fix these streets. We have so many potholes. Oh my goodness. I know one person, they're still in the city because um, they hit a pothole and it messed up their car really, really bad. You know, I know that's what happened to my one tire, you know, when I hit that pothole and then um, my tire got all jacked up. So it's a pain in the behind, I'm telling you. But uh, anyway, so. Yes, so I'm gonna keep that idea in mind because I have, I, like I said, I have a lot of jackets. I have some, well, <laughs> they're kind of all over the place. And I need to put some in the cleaners too. You know, when you have oils in your hair and the collars get all yucky, that's one reason why I buy jackets or buy, you know, new coats. I'm, I'm not one of those people who, and that probably that's wasting money, so I know, I mean, you don't have to tell me. But I'm one of those, if it gets dirty, throw it away, get something new. <laughs> So, yeah, and my kids are the same way. They get it from their mama. I can't help it. But, um, y'all know I'm at that one stop where I have to look a thousand times to get across. But anyway, I'm almost here. Um, but, yeah, so I have a lot of jackets that probably could have been saved if I just got them cleaned. And I didn't. So, oh, let me get a spot closer to the door. I don't want to be closer to the other folks. Oh, hey, now, all right. Must not be a lot of people in the office today. Because uh, I'm able to get my normal spot. But anyway, so I just want to vlog real quick. I'm not doing nothing too uh, extravagant. Just working. Got to do what I got to do to make it, make it, uh, do what it do i um i found a new place well it's not new to me but i know what no i'll take it back it's new to me but i'm not sure i don't think it's new to other people but i found a place to possibly do a girl's trip at just so happened to be online this morning should have been getting myself ready for work and i was doing other things but um I was telling Miss Peanut about it, and so she was a little intrigued. And uh, so I think we're gonna maybe we have the um, we have it on our mind to go back to Dallas next year, but I'm thinking we might we might have to forego Dallas. We've been to Dallas twice, so oh, this thing. Oh, before I forget, um, help Mama remote. When I had reviewed this. Uh, this thrift find from the thrift store, I don't know, like a, what, a year ago almost. And I kept saying, I don't know, you know, the label or whoever. She she picked it out. She said that it was a Franklin, Franklin Covey bag. And she was right. After I had, you know, I don't know, carried this bag for months and months and months. I happened to be doing something and looked down and there was a tag on the side. It's right there, the little brown one. I don't know if you can see it. But it is a Franklin Covey. So thank you, Miss Nicole, for, you know, letting me know what kind of bag I'm carrying. Not that it means much to me because, I mean, I just need a bag for work. But anyways, guys, I got to go. Have a great day. Have a great night. See you all in a new video. Bye. Hey, everybody. It's the boss lady here. Every time I get in the car to start vlogging, first thing I do is lotion my hands. I think because I talk with my hands. But anyway, and I'm always washing them. But um, didn't go to a thrift store. So I'm just going to add this this little clip here to my morning vlog so this is after um after work well after work i got off about mm, what time did i get off today 5 45 it's going on seven o'clock but anyway just leaving the i don't know if you can see that in the back there but just leaving the dollar tree and uh i finally found one of the items well actually two items that i was looking for i was looking for the kiss nails which i actually saw them on sunday when miss peanut and i came but i didn't grab them so i did find the kiss nails and i also found the kiss glue i'm gonna try them out see how they do so i just got the like the hot pink color and then i got the pink nail glue here um I only got the the uh, hot pink color because I didn't like the 
the bland color. Well, I don't know what it was like a pale, pale pink, very natural, whatever. I didn't really like that color. And then they had just the regular, um, the regular, uh, plain that you could paint over but i already have plain at home so i was like ain't no sense of me buying you know some plain nails when i already got them at the house so i didn't get those but anyway so i got these and um and i got some glue i may come back again and just stock up on the glue i don't know but the other thing that i have been looking for searching all over high and low i finally found miss peanuts ipads they had several uh boxes i should have got more than one but i didn't um they they say there's 16 pads that come in here so um I may come back. I don't know. Maybe when I come back to get more glue, I might, you know, if they still have them, I'll pick up another box. Um, but there's 16 pads in here, so I'm thinking of taking these with us on our trip and just kind of letting her, you know, do her thing. And then the last thing I picked up, I only picked up just a couple items. The last thing I picked up was some gel comfort insoles. They look like this. They say they can go in any... Um, any shoe and i guess there's some type of adhesive backing on the shoe i mean on the shoe on the insole so that way it doesn't um move or slide now because i plan to use these in multiple shoes i don't think i'm going to take the the uh the backing off because i don't want them to be sticking but anyways i'm gonna try them out um haven't had really a lot of issues with my feet but if you've been with me a while you know uh boss lady has some plantar fasciitis stuff going on as well as um you know having to have insole or not insole inserts made for my for my shoes that <laughs> boss lady don't wear no more y'all little ponytail sticking up had to pin that hair up because you know who we it's cute though anyway <laughs> Um, so it's cloudy outside, so that's why the, the, uh, video looks all funny compared to this morning. This morning I had a bunch of sun. One second, guys. But anyway, so, I'm not having, like, problem problems with my feet, but because I'm doing more walking, um, because I'm doing more walking, I just want to make sure that, you know, I'm not starting to have issues with my feet. So, let me go. Sorry, I didn't want nobody to hit me. <clears throat> so, anyway, so I picked those things up. Um, I was going to go to the thrift store, but my thrifting buddy wasn't available, and I didn't really want to go by myself today. And I didn't really have anything that was pressing. Um, I'm looking for something for the kitchen. But I don't know what it's called. So I guess it would be like a... Mm, it's not a console table. And it's not... Well, I guess it's a shelf. I don't know. I need something of a certain size. I'll put it that way. To go in my kitchen on the side where my uh, my stove is because my stove is a stand standalone stove. It's not like a stove that's in between counters. And so um, I need something to go next to there because right now I actually have a box next to it and it's, that's not cute, you know. Um, <laughs> I'm just being honest, it's not cute. But it's a box and it's, it's you know, it's holding things but when I need the things that are inside the box, then I, you know. So at any rate, um, I'm looking for something, but it has to be of a certain size, certain caliber. And I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to find it. I actually would prefer if it, it was something that had either like some shelving or something, not so much drawers, I don't think. But if it was drawers, that would be kind of cool because then I could use it as a spice, uh, spice container, spice uh, cabinet or whatever because it'd be right there next to the pantry. So that would be ideal, now that I think about that. Um, but I need to measure the space, especially because, you know, I have a gas stove. So I don't want nothing blowing up or, you know, splattering over or nothing like that. Um, I need to make sure that it's protected and that it won't, you know, catch fire or whatever, stuff like that. Um, so I need to make sure there's a space, like a, you know, a space in between so in case if the oven gets hot, then the cabinet doesn't get overheated or whatever so I need to make sure of that um, 
I was also looking at, I saw some things that were kind of like rolling, rolling shelves, I think it is, where you can, it's like either a rolling shelf or rolling basket. Mm, I'm not sure. Let me, let me think about that. Um, I saw something in a magazine once and then my girlfriend has one, but I think what she has is too wide for my space. Um, so anyway, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to create additional pantry space, so to speak, but that will house like my spices and my seasonings and stuff. So that's what I'm looking for. Now, if I find it or not, I don't know, but so that was the other reason why I didn't go to a thrift store because it, it's weighing on my mind so much that I will get frustrated if I don't see it. Um, Y'all know I've been going to uh, Dollar Tree like crazy. I've been in Dollar Tree like four, four times, four or five times or whatever. And so I still haven't found those daggone patches. But anyway, <clears throat> um, I may end up just ordering them. I wonder... Hmm. I'll look online later and maybe I'll just post it on here if I see anything. If I see the patches online at DollarTree.com and see what, you know, see if they're on there. But um, anyway, so, but like I said, I, I would get frustrated looking for, turn this heat down. It's almost 50 degrees. Hallelujah. Even though we're getting snow. Uh, but so I may also look at Home Depot, Menards. I will say I have been watching a lot of, um, what is that? Is it called Home Talk? I've been watching a lot of Home Talk online and different people building things. I'm not, I'm not a builder. <laughs> I'm not a painter. I'm not a crafter. So, it, you know, I don't want to be like, yeah, I'm about to go buy this wood and get it cut. And you know, nah, boss lady, not about to do that, guys. No, nope, because it would be a disaster. If anything, I can... DIY around it, add to it, but I can't just create it. So I know what I want. Um, and right now we don't have any family members that I can think of who can create what I want. I mean, even with the pantry, I end up having to, you know, do my own thing. So yeah. Um, now I know um, they do have like the wire shell yeah, wire shelving or something to that effect that looks like the shelves that are inside my pantry. But, uh, I don't really want that not outside of the pantry. I want something that's wood or, you know, wood or, or metal casing, something. You know, I thought about going to Big Lots and see if I can find, like, maybe a bookshelf and create something, you know. But I, if I do that, it has to be, it can't be, like, the wide. It has to be more thin um now yeah it has to be more thin like you know tall thin maybe deep but not wide or whatever so yeah so as you can see i have a dilemma that so my brain is working and every time i go out i start looking for stuff because i have i have certain things that i'm looking for you know, so that's why you're not seeing me, you know, just kind of frivolously shopping. I mean, yeah, I've been picking up stuff here or there, but I've been, you know, getting stuff for Peanut for her school and summer and everything. I got to get stuff for her for camp. Miss Peanut's going to camp twice. She's going to camp in May, which is Mother's Day weekend, and then she's going to camp in July. Now, the July camp, <clears throat> six days, five nights. Yeah, I'm going to be a basket case. I'd, I'd probably be in office every single day just to give me something to do. But um, uh, the one that's in May, it's just an overnight. But Mommy's not going. So hallelujah on that. And it's Mother's Day weekend. So I'm going to be free. I think I'm about to put the, the APB out. Look, I'm free for the weekend. <laughs> Let me be. <laughs> <laughs> Hollow and peanut get back. I mean, you know, I don't get these times often, so I plan to enjoy myself. <clears throat> Especially because, you know, peanut and I will be traveling like a couple weeks later. So, yeah, I plan to spend some time with Boss Man. So, anyway, on my way home now. And, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to vlog. I wanted, you know, I mean, I know I did the morning vlog and kind of ended it or whatever. But,. I just wanted to come back because, you know, I had eluded to going to a thrift store. And, no, 
boss lady didn't go. Uh, maybe I go on the weekend. Well, it all depends. If it snows, boss lady's going nowhere. Mm -mm, not doing it. Um, I'm really wishing that weather would get itself together because I'm ready for yard sales. Like where I am right now, I'm in the suburb that's right, it's, you know, across the street from my house. Um, and this area has great yard sales, like really. So, um, this is where I got my room and board ottoman for $7 and it was a $400 ottoman. Brand new, they didn't want it. They was like, oh, we changed our mind. Let me, um, yes, please change your mind again. Sell some more stuff for $7. Thank you. Appreciate it. But <laughs> anyway, um, so yes, I'm ready for yard sales. Cause I just want to, I want to get out there. You know, I, I kind of want to get out of stores and just get out in the yard. Speaking of yards, and then I'll wrap this up. Um, <laughs> it's April, what, April 12th? And Boss Lady, yes, Boss Lady has just taken down her Christmas decorations from outside. Why? Because we had snow up the yin yang and the cords and stuff, everything was froze. Even Santa, he was froze. So I couldn't I couldn't do anything until, you know. And then every time the weather would finally break, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go out tomorrow. Then tomorrow come it snow. Or it, it would rain or it'd be freezing cold. So, you know, anyway. So Santa's in the house. Well, he's not in the house. He's on the porch. Um, I be I will be happy when the weather breaks as well, so I can get back to the porch. The porch right now looks like a cross between Christmas, Thanksgiving. I'm trying to think, is there Halloween stuff out there? I don't think so, because uh, I don't decorate for Halloween. But yeah, Christmas, Thanksgiving for sure, fall, whatever. You know summer stuff from last year you know stuff from when i did a collaboration there's so much stuff out there you guys oh my gosh and i'm just like really and i need my porch back right i need to be looking decent by the time memorial day gets here but if we don't get the weather i can't do anything so while everybody's showing their outside spaces yeah boss lady is just in the house <laughs> in the house looking at spring and Easter decor that needs to be put away. So, maybe I'll do a video of that next week. But, you guys be great. As always, do your boss thing and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!